Hello subscriber and viewer. Now we are in the next tutorial in the Android tutorial series. This tutorial is going to be important because we are going to see important widgets that is toggle and switch. So first we will see the use of toggle and switch button. So use is very simple. It will just work like a door, door, bell. So what happened in your home near the door, there is a door bell. So it is having the two states means on and off by default it is off. Once you press the bell, then what happened? The particular ring will come. So it will work similarly. So toggle and switch button, it will just work like a switch. So you, uh, as you know, whatever the switches are there, it is having the default off state. And once you press, it will be in on state, means active state. So you see in picture, this is the shape of toggle and this is the uh, shape of the switch button. So that is exactly the difference because the second point is difference between toggle and switch button. So the difference is according to their appearance only because the working of toggle and switch button is same. Only their appearance is different. So toggle button is just look like button and switch button it is having the slider means it looks uh, good in comparison of toggle button. So if you want, you can use switch or you can use the toggle button in your program. Okay. Both having the two state on and off and their default state is off always. Okay. And by using the coding, you can change their text also. You can change their default text. In place of on, you can write other text. In place of off, you can write the other text. So in which class you have to use it? So it's very simple. Suppose you have the toggle button and after on you want particular uh, action and once the toggle button is uh, on you want to set particular action means suppose you want to set two different different action uh, in the program then you can use the toggle button for example in your wi-fi once you on wi-fi then you get the toast message that your wi-fi is on once your Wi-Fi is off, you get the toast message, your Wi-Fi or internet connection is off. If you want to do like that, you can use the uh, toggle or switch button. Now, uh, here you see in this application, I have used toggle button and the switch button. So its look is like that. And in the XML file, you can do this block of statement. Android check means by default, uh, the your toggle button or you can, uh, your switch button will be in true state means on state because by default it is in off state if you want to change it you can use this parameter you can use this attribute android check equal to true so it will be in on state and the text in the off state will be off text in the on state will be on you can write any text suppose you don't want on and off in place of that you want the other text that also you can use it then by using activity java file also you can do the coding for that you have the three kinds of methods set check set text on and set off so by using this first method you can change its state suppose your toggle button or switch it is in on state you can change into off state then second method and third method by using the second method this second and third method will be like that so by using set text on means uh, once the button is on state you can set the particular text whatever you write here suppose you write here wi-fi the wi-fi will come here when the button is in on state off state means once the button is in off state means off state then the particular whatever the text you will write that text will come up here means suppose you want here wi-fi on then that text will come up here so in this way these two methods will work like that means text on means you have to set the text that will be appear when the toggle button will be in on state or switch button will be in on state if the switch or toggle button will be in off state that particular text will be appear so in this way this toggle and switch button is very simple it is having just two state on and off by default the state is off okay and by using this bunch of code you can play with the switch and toggle button so i hope you understood this basic tutorial and in the next tutorial we will go in android studio and we will do practically the programming okay so here i finish the today's tutorial thank you